we started off with, truly we started with um, Simon Moore, my colleague, he runs a, a separate course to me um, regarding events management. And Essex Air Ambulance um, approached us and asked us, um, well they approached the whole county as a such and asked us would we, um, they're asking people to to host a dinner party. Um, we couldn't do it on the weekend because we're, we're not here and we just finished half term. So we chose to do it on our normal restaurant night. Um, Essex Air Ambulance titled it the Great Essex Feast. So we took that a stage further and regards we, we decided to take a whole menu and try to source as much as possible within and around Essex. And to be honest, it wasn't hard. We have so many um, great produce and producers in Essex, it's unbelievable. You know, we've, we've taken it even down, we've had um, even got the flour from um, Marriage's Flour in, um, in Chelmsford. We've used Fergus and his Wicks Manor pork. We've used oysters from uh, Mersey Island and, and so on. We've even um, found food grade lavender from the Stour Valley. So everything we've done and um, used for our menu has come from Essex. And you know, it, it is great produce, it's fantastic produce. Unbelievable in Essex what we can use. And, and, and the students, have been an education for the students realise that all this Essex. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. We, we we took the students last week out to um, to marriages, and they, you know, that, and we we've taken them to uh, Fergus, and Fergus has shown them around Wicks Manor Farm, and we've gone to uh, the goats farm at um, Munden. Uh, Sally there, she shows our students around, you know, and it's it's eye opening to them, and unbelievable, you know, they don't believe, you know, it is where this stuff can actually come from, right on their doorstep. You know, and I'm, I will teach them in theory classes and I'll tell them the importance of food miles and, um, and things like that really, so it's, you know. Do you say food miles? Yeah, food so miles. It's a big, big, seems the hit phrase at the moment, in saying it's, you know, people are, are concerned how far their food travels and, and it's in the public eye really that, um, you know, where, the, you know, more and more people are savvy to where their food is coming from. And, you know, the likes of TV cooks and chef programs and everything else, it's, you know, people are, you know, banging on about, you know, local produce. And, you know, Essex is, is as good as any other county in the country, really. It's, so the eel I saw over there, how far has that come from? Uh, the eel come from was supplied by Romford. Uh, it come out the, uh, one of the two guys who, who uh, the eel fishermen out the Thames. So, yes, the Thames is just on our doorstep behind us. Um, and you know, we go far stretch the other side of the county in Mersey Island where the oysters have come from. So you know, Essex is, is you know, vast in its, its size but also in its abundance for you know, the produce that we can use. And is this part of the students' courses? Yes, the, the, the students are on a, a level 2 and level 3 uh, NVQ catering course which we run here. We've got, um, we run it over about a two to three year period depending on what level they go up to. Um, and they can be here um, and but also in some of the great kitchens of London. We've got strong connections with um, kitchens in London and far reaching. We've had one chef who just done a week with um, Raymond Blanc, one of the students with Raymond Blanc in Oxfordshire. So it's, um, we've, we've got strong links and we do try to, you know, to put them through the, the best that we can offer them.